It's not exactly pretty in pink, but no shits are given. I like my wardrobe. I love that mom sent me a fat box of chocolate coconut bites for my birthday. And slipped in a $200 gift certificate. She sure knows how to make a sad birthday happy. It's hard to believe I'm 18 now. I'm lucky my parents enabled my photo habit into adulthood. Would Man Ray call them selfie portraits? It's such a pretty guitar. I need to play it more. I'll miss going to the games with my dad. Go Thunderbirds. I'm glad Kate let me borrow her copy of The October Country. I should have every Bradbury book for myself. I haven't forgotten you, little Lisa. Yet. You are thirsty. I'm the worst baby mama. Drink up. One day I'll organize my film collection. One day I'll get an actual HDTV. Philip Lorca de Corsia, my man. I don't think I could take my camera to those places. Look at that shot. I love Julia Cameron's Victorian vibe. Talk about analog cameras. Ah, oh, Dolly, what a fantastic eye. He could truly freeze time. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Daniel has so much talent. I hope nobody hates on it just because it's me. I am so addicted to this site. Look at these vintage beauties. Warren makes me laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real friend here. That's the only tourist picture I let them take of me at the Space Needle. That was a good hockey game and a great fight. Man, Kristen and Fernando were so drunk hanging on the Fremont Troll. Cartier-Bresson, Doineau, Hamilton, the greatest. <sighs> Max and Chloe, best friends forever. Who even says that anymore? I'm going to have to call Chloe eventually and find out what she'll say. The longer I wait, the worse it'll be. Idiot. So cheesy, but 
It makes me smile thinking of the day Mom and I sewed that together. The Max Caulfield Photo Memorial Wall. Ahoy, Captain. At least I know you've got my back. When I swallowed your eye and my parents rushed me to the ER, I knew we were bonded forever. to just relax. This day has been so damn bizarre and it feels like it has gone on forever. Maybe I'll just wake up now and find out I was dreaming all of this. Or like Poe said, a dream within a dream. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Juliet, this is so stupid. Answer. Hey, Juliet, is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. You are ridiculous. What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? You uh, know, why I'm do sorry. you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So, how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything, but I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. Answer, you wuss. <sighs> Dior, Givenchy, you could pay for my tuition with that wardrobe. Those boots are made for walking runways. That is a tasty plasma. Maybe I could sneak in and watch Final Fantasy Spirits Within. I don't care what anybody says, that's one of the best sci-fi films ever made. I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. Victoria hates Rachel Amber this much? How insecure. Victoria is a real Jefferson groupie. Uh, 
I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. And for this nice shot. Boom! This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Yes, I get it. Enter the Vortex Club. No. Okay, if I did wear expensive jewelry, I would wear this for sure. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. She's actually got a classic medium format camera with some awesome prime lens. I hate you, Victoria. They should call this series aloof. Cold and soulless. Kinda like Victoria. Ouch. Well, at least she puts her photographs out there. Unlike me. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Whoa, I had no idea Victoria's parents owned the chase space. Color me impressed. Speaking of selfies... Looks like nobody won this TP war. There's nothing left but ghosts. Juliet, read this. Of course! I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Almost done. Get the flash drive, and then I'll go see Warren. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Poor Juliet gets her rage on. I hope she doesn't kill Victoria. Zachary should worry, too. As if I'd let that ego case jockstrap touch me. But I bet Victoria would be all over that action. Or has been. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though Warren obviously likes hanging with you. He's a good guy. A geek like me. You saw the files in his flash drive. Tons of crazy shit. Films I've never even heard of. And in a special folder called Max. Yeah, okay. I gotcha. Are you blushing? <laughs> Go ahead and grab the flash drive whenever. It would be a cool sticker without the words. This is both sad and pathetic. Of course a popular cheerleader like Dana would have a million friends. It's so fascinating to get a peek into Dana's social media world. 
And yes, Max, so terribly wrong. Must protect my precious, so Max never has to chase it down again. I better make sure everything is still in there. I think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. Not that I would open it no matter how tempting. I have my self-respect. I can't even imagine what life would be like being a cheerleader. Dramatic, I guess. That looks like a home pregnancy test. This shit. Ow! That hurt. Ouch, poor Alyssa. That'll leave a bruise. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Max, that was awesome. Thank you. No problem. You have quick reflexes. Years of mad dodging skills. Bullies never change. That's why you're better off. They're smart. We should hang out more. Now I have to finish this stupid book. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey, hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but now Officer David Dickhead is after me. Maybe I should rewind and mind. I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. There's no way I can walk to the town from here. Besides, I need to see Warren. I don't get it. How could Zack and Victoria do that to me? 
Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway. Better sooner than later. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Have you talked to Zach yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. He said he sexted Victoria as a joke. Ha ha. I think Warren wants your attention. He usually does. Hang in there, Juliet. See you around, Max. I wonder how long before Samuel has to repaint that. It's not a dirty window unless somebody writes clean me on it. I could use this picture for a series on Arcadia Bay Lots. That dog looks peaceful asleep, but if I get too close, Cujo. Now this really pisses me off. So entitled. Sorry, handicapped folks. My truck needs these two spots more than you do. Bastard. Who toilet papers a bike? Good thing I don't have a car. Yet. Max, get your ass over here. Look at Warren in his Wayback Machine. He's a brave man. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. By the way, I saw Daniel's sketch of you online. Not bad, but... I could do a much better job. You can draw? I thought you were blinded by science, not art. Art is science. Music is math, etc., etc. I'd put Stephen Hawking against Picasso any day. Hardcore. So you must use a computer to draw? Of course. I'd love to tweak one of your selfies with some cool graphics. That might not suck. I'll let you know. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop, cultural pirate connoisseur. That does sound better than thief. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. 
Plus, babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I need to talk to somebody, just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal, now. Answer me, bitch! I told him the truth. A student had a gun. No, you told him I had a gun. That's why he dragged me into his office. And did what? Give you a stern lecture? Nobody. Nobody lectures me. Everyone tries, though. <laughs> they try. You should talk to somebody, Nathan. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh, man. You're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! Hey! Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore right in the bathroom! <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Warren. Go! Go! I got this! Get in, Max! Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Nobody! Nathan Prescott is messed up, and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? I have no idea. I know he's a press card. And an asshole. Your friend really stood up for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? I guess. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely, out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Of course, it's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliché geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. Cereal? Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. 
Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it at my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome home, Max. 